Hello and welcome to The Dugout, the online football show that does for the beautiful game what a super injunction does for football as a whole. Bugger all and leaves us with nothing but a costly court case. Yes, the whole world has gone litigation loony in the past week or so with news of a number of high profile celebrities, including a prominent footballer, taking out super injunctions to prevent the media from reporting on some stuff that has happened. Now, we obviously can't mention who is involved or what they did, and I mean that literally as I have no idea what's going on, but considering in the past five years alone we've seen John Terry have an affair with his teammate's girlfriend, Wayne Rooney sleep with an elderly prostitute, Ashley Cole send erotic pictures to women who weren't his wife instead of training with the England World Cup squad, and Lee Hughes kill someone one, it makes you wonder just what this unnamed footballer has been up to in order to trump all that. Presumably he or she has been... ...in a George Foreman grill. And how can we not mention Barcelona and Real Madrid, where managers, players and substitutes were all sent off, both clubs reported the other to UEFA, and Lionel Messi did that thing he does where he makes everyone else look rubbish. Oh, and uh... Arsenal beat Man United. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. And finally, to the tragic news that one of Britain's biggest, most glamorous football clubs with an incredibly rich history have finally lost their league status. Yes, Stockport County will be playing conference football next year, which is hardly surprising, seeing as they haven't had a permanent manager since January and have now taken to advertising for a new gaffer on their website. Well, we here at the dugout hate to see such a fine footballing institution sink to such depths, so I've decided to step up to the plate and apply for the gig myself. Now, let's have a look here. Let's see what we can come up with. Let's see. Dear Stockport owner man slash woman, I'm applying for the job of football manager at your lovely football club. In my time... On, uh, on numerous computer games, I've won the Champions League with the go-ahead Eagles and I've also guided Bishop Stortford to five consecutive promotions. I've also got a mate in Manchester who can put me up. That's another one. I've got good contacts in the game as well. I've, and I obviously, you know, Kenny Sampson does impressions here. Neil Shipley is always in my local McDonald's, so I can always get in touch with him. I've got a right good tactical brain on me. 442, 443, 433, 451, You can give me any numbers and I can recite them back to you, divide them by three and add them up to 11. Give me the job and I can guarantee an instant return to League Two. That's League Two. Or you can have all my wages back. My wages, by the way, I hope this isn't a problem, uh, begin at £485,000 per annum. I presume uh, this won't be a problem. That's from Dominic Percival. Croft, there we go, I'll send that off over here, give that to the postman, and we'll see if I get the gig next week. I don't think I've ever met a sportsman, ever. Now, as if being relegated to League Two wasn't bad enough for those seagull kisses down at Plymouth, the Argyle have also entered administration, and an official document detailing all the club's creditors has now been made public. Now, I'm an extremely charitable fellow. I throw all my unused foreign currency into charity buckets, and I buy a new poppy at least every four years. So what better way to display my altruistic nature than to dedicate my time to paying off some of Plymouth's debts. I have the administrator's report right here, and shall now pick a name at random who I guarantee will have their debts paid off by the end of the football season. Okay. And uh, I can tell you the lucky winner is PJ Kingwell of Plimpton. PJ is owed an astonishing 33 pence by Argyle, and by God, I shall make it my life's ambition to get PJ that money. We're here live in the Dugout's PJ Kingwell Telethon Hub. Check it out. Over here, we have more than £400 worth of baked beans. I'm going to be bathing in that stuff a little bit later. It's got nothing to do with the appeal, of course. Just what I like to do in my spare time. Over here, we have the telephone, the PJ Kingwell Benefit Telethon Telephone. This phone should be ringing. Why isn't this phone ringing? We need your donations. We need this phone to be constantly engaged. The number is on your screen right now. But f*** the number. Where's the address? It's over here. Look, the dugout charity appeal. Care of Sky Sports Digital Media, Unit 6, Grantway, Isleworth. That's TW7 5QD. We want your checks. We want your postal orders. I don't even know what a postal order is, but we want it. Look, 
Over here, it's the totalizer, which is keeping abreast. That's right. I said abreast of the grand total raised. And why do we want to raise money today? Let me tell you. Because PJ Kingwell is a man, possibly a woman, whose only crime is to have given goods and services to his local football team. Either that, or he's a scumbag demanding 33 pence from a locally run, financially unstable football community club. The b****. It's the first one, obviously. If Celtic get a result, I think it's uh, a long way towards uh, winning the championship. Bucket of oblivion time now and your chance to rid the footballing world of all its ills. First up is Nordic hero and longtime fan of the show, Wagner Thompson, who proposes players surrounding the ref all the time. Only the captain should be allowed to go to the ref and ask him why a certain decision was given a worthy nomination, Wagner, and it goes into the bucket. Well done. Next up to Ian Lee, who wants to see the end of ITV's commentary team. It's so gash, he says. Yes, Ian, uh, yes it is. We've already seen David Pleat dropped into the bucket and I'm happy to add everyone else from ITV Sports into this dark and bottomless device. And finally this week, former Liverpool defender, John Scales. Some of the interviews after games where they put the focus absolutely straight on the managers in the heat of the moment where they ask a question where clearly there's a lot of emotion around the, the situation. You know, they're in the heat at the moment and they've mm. got to change that. So I think sometimes the expectation and some of the questioning from, from the media is a bit too intense. They've got to give them time to actually calm down and uh, put that in the context that it should be. And that's the worst answer ever to any <laughs> <laughs> You boring, boring man, John. And remember, we shall be selecting the best submissions and lobbying football associations around the world to rid the game of your selections. And next episode is your chance to get something into this bloody bucket for the final time. So get onto the Facebook page or send us a little email to the address on your screen. Are you there, Chuck? Welcome to sports fans do the craziest goddamn things. Coming up today, we're in Northampton, United Kingdom, where this crazy bastard staged a one-man pitch invasion in his electric wheelchair, much to the annoyance of that asshole Stuart. And we take a trip to Norwich, where this crazy son of a bitch took a fall and a half. Stay down. Boom. Eat dirt. Plus, we head to Europe to find out why those sons of bitches have such a bad reputation for health and safety. All this and more on tonight's edition of Sport Fans Do the Craziest Goddamn Thing. Oh, what? Yes, it's time for the quiz. Joining me on the line in a bid to beat Chris Jones' top score of five points is Sam Burton, a Londoner who supports Arsenal. Hello, Sam. You OK? Yeah, not too bad, thanks, Tom. Good stuff. You confident? Uh, well, I've, I've seen a few of them before and I've done quite well, so I think I'll do quite well this time. All right. Well, as a fellow Gooner, I'll be supporting you in this one. So if you're ready, we'll begin in five, four, three, two... One. What number shirt does Raphael van der Vaart wear at Spurs? Uh, uh, ten. No, it's eleven. Spell Barcelona backwards. <laughs> A N O L E C R A B. Correct. Which football club plays at Turf Moor? Burnley. Correct. True or false? John Terry has slept with your wife. Uh, false. That is correct. Name four English clubs Nicholas and Elker has played for. Four English clubs, Liverpool, Bolton, Arsenal, Chelsea. Correct. Who is the current manager of Preston North End? Um, Phil Brown. Correct. Uh, fill in the missing word in this chant. Come on, you. I can't, I can't say that. OK. Which club are also known as the Tractor Boys? The who? The Tractor Boys. 
Oh, it's rich. Correct. True or false? David Beckham really does have golden balls. Uh, true. I'm afraid that's false. What nationality is Emmanuel Ed? Oh, I can tell you that's time. I'll let you answer this one. What nationality is Emmanuel Adebayor? Uh, Togo. 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 Okay, that's correct. I can tell you, Sam. Just tallying it up. I can tell you, you got an incredible seven points, Sam Burton. You were yeah. top of the leaderboard. You've done Gunas proud. Chris Jones has been toppled. His little sticky thing's not even on the board anymore. You are up there with seven. You're barely on there as well, such as the, the lack of quality materials. There it is. I'll hold it up. Sam, seven. That's what it says. You must be delighted. Um over the moon. I can't believe it. Good stuff. Well, your name will stand up there until somebody else beats you. And if you want to have a go at beating Sam and the rest of the Egypt, send us an email to the dugout at football365.com. Remember, there are amazing prizes at stake here, including a Peter Crouch T-shirt. Oh! Whoa. Antes do início da partida, né? Uma colmeia. Olha só, numa das traves lá do Cega Dourada. E o jogo teve que ser paralisado de Goiás. Será que ninguém viu essa colmeia antes do início da partida, né? Well, that's just about it for today. Just before we go, there's time to quickly check on the PJ Kingwell Benefit Telethon Totalizer. Yeah, and uh, an amazing news. We're already almost halfway to reaching our target there. We'll be back with yet more ill-informed opinions veering into dodgy legal territory very shortly. If you'd like to get in contact, maybe to service a writ or something, then the Facebook page is available to all and sundry, or you can email us at the dugout at football365.com. In the meantime, enjoy your football, and bye for now. <laughs>